Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a question in here from Georgia on the email. Uh, Georgia's writing in says, Hello, I'm writing to you because I really can't decide which camera should I go with. She says, brackets, I'm hoping I am writing to the right email. Uh, yeah, obviously, I guess we got it. I like to shoot everything, landscapes, portraits, lifestyle weddings, uh, as a second shooter, etc. My first option is to get the Fuji X-E3 uh, or slash Fuji X-T20 with the 23 f2 lens for about $1,200. The other option is to buy a used Nikon D610 or D750 from eBay for less than $1,000 with the 35 f1.8 lens. I feel that because the Nikons are much bigger, I won't be able to use them as much as I would like to. I also really like the lenses of the Fuji system, especially that 16mm f1.4. And I like their design and how compact they are. I also like shooting video, so that's an advantage of the Fujis. Additionally, I'm a bit concerned about getting a used camera. I like to edit my images, but I would like them to be good enough uh, even when not edited. What is your opinion of the full-frame sensor? Is the, is the full-frame sensor worth it or not? Thank you in advance, and thank you for taking the time to answer uh, so many people's questions. If you happen to make a video about my question, could you please not mention my name? Uh, my last name. Thank you again, and sorry for any grammar or vocabulary mistakes. Okay, Georgia, um, great question. Thanks for writing in. Um, you do know, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, that I love the Nikon D610. I actually really like the 752. However, I love this little guy too, which is one of the ones you're talking about. That's the X-T20 there, the Fuji X-T20. You got the, the uh, LCD up there uh, with the 50 f two on it, which is a fantastic little lens. So you're looking at the XE3, which I probably would rule out in favor of the XT20, just a preference thing. I think basically the XT20 is kind of a baby XT2, gives you most of the goodness of an XT2 for a lot less money. Uh, it's 4K, it's got the new 24 megapixels Fuji sensor in it. It's a very good performing camera. I would no problem shoot weddings or events or portraits with a pair of xt20s um, probably using the 18 to 55 28 to 4 kit lens which is doing it a disservice to call it a kit lens because it's one of the nicest kit lenses ever made it's a 28 to 4 i would i would keep that on one body and i would probably keep this 50 on the other body and if i had some other lenses i wanted to swap in and out fine but frankly that setup would do it for me. Um, this is probably already indicating to you the way I would go. Um, even though I'm a big fan of the D610 and the D750, I would need to have a reason, a specific reason why I would want those larger cameras, uh, heavier, heavier system uh, than I would with the Fujis. And for what you're talking about, I think you would be probably better served with the Fujis, and you've 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 already spelled out some reasons. Uh, bigger and assuming heavier there, um, and you're saying you're worried you wouldn't be able to use them as much as you'd like to. Um, you say you also really like the lenses of the Fuji system, which this this lens here and the 18 to 55 I'm talking about are darlings, uh, and that is a big reason why a lot of people really do like the Fuji system. Fuji really listens to their customers, to their shooters, and they come out with glass. That their shooters want that they're asking for and the, the fuji lens catalog is amazing it's not only amazing optically and for what it offers but these lenses are like things of beauty in and onto themselves they're well built they're metal mostly i'm actually i think they're all metal all the ones i've seen um the 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 fit and finish on these is like this this focus ring is just so butter buttery smooth. Um, I hate to use the term because it's overused, but it's reminiscent of you know Leicas. Why we like Leicas? That really very finely put together, top of the line uh, built thing. And these cameras meet that in my mind. I think that's a big reason why people like the Fuji system. Uh, you've also noted the 16F14 you like, so you're liking their lens lineup. You like the design and how compact they are, so again, to the size and weight. And you're mentioning that you also like shooting video, which is a huge advantage to the XT20 because it's got a much more competent video system in here, 4K, and a much better video focus system. In other words, the AF in here is actually a very good video system. I, I want to do some tests on it against some of the Sonys because I think... This may be a sleeper thing that a lot of people don't realize about Fuji. With the X-T20 and the X-T2 and the updates, the autofocus system, you can really refine the continuous autofocus for video in these things. And it's 
probably getting it. I think it's probably on par with Sony would be my guess without testing them side by side, but just from the use I've done. Um, and that's pretty competitive with Canon's dual pixel AF, which is saying a lot. So you've kind of laid out here a lot of reasons why you want to buy into the Fuji system. I think that's what you want. I think that's what you're leaning towards and you're wanting somebody to tell you, yes, that's okay. And wholeheartedly, I think it is. I think a pair of X-T20s, I say a pair because anytime you're shooting professionally, a pair of bodies is, is the responsible thing to do. You've got built-in backup as well as a second body for a different lens. That's the way I always shot weddings. That's the way most pros do. Um, you know, if somebody's paying you for your work, you need to have a backup camera uh, available. So if your camera breaks, you're not just saying, oh, sorry, and going home for the day because that could get you into a lot of trouble. Anyways, that's why I talk about pairs. Um, it's the old kind of um, Navy SEALs philosophy. Uh, uh, two is one and one is none. And that philosophy comes from the fact that two is one. So if you have one break, you still got one. You've got your backup. And one is none because if that one breaks, you're screwed. So uh, my opinion of the full frame sensor, is it worth it? In certain situations, it may be. Against the Fujis and for what you want to use it for, probably not because these are very nice cameras, very capable. The high ISO ability of these new Fuji sensors is very close to what you're going to get out of a 610, 750. I'm not saying it's on par, but it's probably within a stop or maybe just a tad more. That's close enough that I will go for the size and weight savings, the advantage of video, and if you like, you know, as you're saying, all the reasons you like these cameras, it overweighs, it outweighs that small advantage in high ISO. The only other advantage you're really going to get out of a full frame sensor is shallower depth of field because you have full frame, you don't have that crop factor when you're putting a lens on. So you, you can get a, a shallower depth of field uh, for any given lens using it on full frame versus using it on a crop sensor body like the X-T20 or any of the Fujis, short of the medium format Fuji. So yeah, my um, answer to you would be, I think you know, you're basically want to go with the Fujis and I, I would totally, I think in your situation would be the right thing to do. I would go with the X-T20 because I think it's a more capable, more kind of professionally laid out camera than the X-E3 is. Um, that would be my choice. Uh, but if you're hard set on an X-E3 and you think you can make it work, you know, by all means, go down to the store, try them both out. And if they think that's what works for you, great. Um, I would lean towards the X-T20 because it's basically just a small version of their top-end pro camera. So, um, and it's it's got all the manual dials and you could, I could, I would have no problem shooting weddings with one of these guys, pair of these guys. I know lots of people that are shooting Fuji now for events and wedding coverage. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the Fujis? Um, would you do you disagree? Would you go with one of these Nikons? Would you go with something else? Let us know in the comments below. Let's up help out Georgia and uh, help her make her mind up on what she should choose. Uh, are you already shooting Fuji? Are you shooting one of the full frames and there's a reason you're not going to the Fuji system? Uh, let us know in the comment below. In the comments below. Uh, let's flesh it out a bit. Let us know what you're doing, why. Let's help her out. Thanks for your question, Georgia. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.